Hello and welcome to Anesthesia Tools once again. Thanks for joining part two of our series, American Heart Association CPR Emergency Cardiovascular Care 2020 Updates. First part, we have discussed on basic life support, something genuine, which will make more impact on our uh, CPR outcomes is mentioned in the new literature that is all about uh, high performance CPR teams and the role of CPR coach. High performance teams are essential to successful resuscitation attempts and translate to improved survival for patients in cardiac arrest. High performance teams effectively integrate timing, quality, coordination, and administration of appropriate procedures during resuscitation. High performance teams also incorporate effective communication skills. They focus on specific performance metrics and a high chest compression fraction. We all know that uh, high quality CPR improves cardiac and neurologic outcomes. However, CPR quality is often variable. The goal of CPR coach is to ensure that the compressor will deliver high quality CPR, compliant with the AHA guidelines and to cognitively unload the resuscitation leader such that they can focus on following advanced life support algorithm and diagnosing and treating the underlying cause. Pauses in chest compression typically occurs during intubation, rhythm analysis, pulse check, compressor switches, and defibrillation. In pursuit of better outcomes, we have to adhere to guidelines more closely. We can't improve what we don't monitor or measure. Let us see a few practice points for improvement. Whenever chest compressions are paused, the compressor should hover over the chest and be prepared to resume chest compressions. 15 seconds before pausing chest compression, the team should get ready for pulse check, pre-charge defibrillator and prepare to deliver shock in 10 seconds or less. For seamless switching or transition between cycles every two minutes is best. Coordinate the switch to happen as fluidly as possible. It is a best practice to use real-time feedback devices during CPR. A perfect team dynamics and communication skills can also ensure significantly better outcome. The role of CPR coach to this effect has been under consideration in the last few years. A resuscitation quality bundle of code ACES2 was evaluated and published in the Journal of American Heart Association in 2018, compressing of CPR coaching, objective data evaluation, action link phrases, choreography, ergonomics, structure debriefing and simulation. This study on CPR role involving depth, rate and ROSC was published in Critical Care Medicine in 2018. Optimizing CPR performance with CPR coaching for pediatric cardiac arrest randomized simulation-based clinical trial was published in Resuscitation Journal again in 2018. The study concluded that in presence of CPR feedback technology, the integration of a trained CPR coach into resuscitation teams enhances CPR quality metrics associated with improved survival outcomes from pediatric cardiac arrest. Let us see John Hopkins resuscitation performance debriefing tool. Using data from the defibrillator electronic health record and bedside monitor, the performance debriefing tool is used to comprehensively evaluate 
the performance. A timeline visualizes the quality of resuscitation. Core performance matrices are presented numerically and graphically with reference targets. Optimization methods and physiology-based CPR techniques are presented including the use of backboard, step stool, CPR codes, ETCO2 and arterial blood pressure. Proportions of minutes of compliance for depth, rate and chest compression fraction are depicted as pie charts. Interruptions are presented as a histogram. Where should CPR coach be positioned in the resuscitation team is given here. CPR coaches should stand across from the compressor always in the compressor's direct line of sight. CPR coaches should also stand next to the CPR feedback display, which is often located on the defibrillator. This will also help the CPR coach to effortlessly redirect the compressor's attention to the data on the feedback device. CPR coach verbalizes the data from the feedback device, providing corrective and positive feedback. Here's how a CPR coach coordinates CPR. CPR coach helps with the local implementation element of the formula for survival, helping providers translate their CPR skills from practice sessions into the clinical environment. In summary, introduction of CPR coach role is to optimize compliance with American Heart Association guidelines and cognitively unload the resuscitation team leader. Choreography of key roles during an in-hospital cardiac arrest to enhance communication and ergonomics. That's it for uh, part two of our AHA 2020 updates series. Coming up in subsequent episodes, we shall go through each of the subtopics in detail. We are employing a spaced learning approach as advised by AHA 2020. Your comments and suggestions are always welcome until we meet with part three of this series. It's me, Dr. Sanish, signing off. Goodbye.